we may not be threatened by a war against nations, but the battle that we have at present is a battle for survival against a dreadful, dreaded virus. This is a challenge that all of us, as a community of peace, love, and enlightened economies, is facing. We now have in our midst battalions of doctors, regiments of nurses, brigades of health workers, and platoons of frontliners who are risking their lives and limbs for the sake of the virus to be contained, not to spread further. They are no different to the heroes of the past. They also have done so much sacrifice for the sake of our safety and our country. Dangers they are facing is tantamount to loss of life, as we witness occurred already. This is why we are giving recognition to heroes of the past and I am rendering my snappy salute to all of the health workers who lost their lives in the fight against COVID-19. No amount of thanks and gratitude could equal the act of patriotism that you have done for the sake of our fellow countrymen. The city and every Batang Manila will always be proud of you. Please, my fellow Manilenos, my fellow Filipinos, let us give our help and support to the government in the fight against this virus. And soon, I am firm in my belief that just like what the war that we had experienced 76 years ago, we will all come up as victors. This country and our city will be strong again as ever. The lessons we had from previous experiences may be a bitter pill for us to swallow. The war, the pandemic, and all other unfortunate events in our history. But these are the significant chapters of our lives that also has taught us valuable lessons as a person, as a country, and as a community of nations. And that is for everything to succeed. We should forego our personal desires and ultimately have genuine, genuine concern to our brothers and sisters and even to our neighboring nations.